Hey what's up guys, you've been hunted here and today I'm bringing you some Black Ops 2 gameplay and today I just wanted to talk about um, getting better at um, domination and more specifically domination on this map because uh, I feel this is a really good map for domination and if you don't know what this map is by now, uh, this map is Lockdown and it's kind of like launch from the original Black Ops in the uh, retrospect that it's all metal, kind of well mostly metal so there's a lot of noise and there's also uh... you got your rockets and your launches going on and your your hangar type areas and things like that so uh... it's a lot of close quarters and then in the middle you have uh... the b flag which is is lo overlooked by uh... four main areas one would be the or two actually would be the two uh... separate buildings on both sides the c and a buildings and then you have your uh, B buildings, which are the ones to the left and the right. The one you see right in front of me, which is uh, the big circular thingy, majig. And then the one across the way to the left here, uh, with the two separate rooms that counter the uh, C and A buildings. So, what I wanted to talk about, there were five main things I wanted to talk about today. Uh, the first one is that you want to use the correct gun for the map the map in the game type and then your play style as well so number one most importantly is you want to use a gun that's comfortable uh, with you for me at the time of this video it was the m27 um, it doesn't have the most power but it's extremely accurate and if you have a good connection like I do you can usually get the jump on people so you'll get a few shots off before they see you anyway and yeah uh, you also want to to cover yourself um, the way I'm gonna be telling you guys to or at least suggesting to you guys to play is to play a type of um, aggressive defensive stance if that makes sense basically you're gonna want to not camp you're not gonna want to camp but you're gonna want to put yourself in a high traffic area which was actually one of the things I want to talk about later but I guess it fits now I'll talk about it now um, you want to put yourself in a high traffic area that way you have people funneling to you Rushing in this game doesn't really work as well as it did in the other games because you have things like uh, constant UAVs. You have much, uh, much higher paced game, which doesn't really cater to the rushing game style because you'll constantly find yourself being double teamed or triple teamed if you're running around pretty recklessly trying to uh, do certain things. So here, the, most of this game, I've placed myself in a high traffic area, and this would be the uh, left side, I guess, if you're if you're spawned today, the left side of B, uh, these two rooms here. And the reason for that is we have them spawn trapped at C, and this is actually a great spawn trap, if you guys didn't know. Um, I found this on my own, but I'm, I'm not in any way saying that I found this spawn trap, because I've seen people use it before, but I personally found it on my own. I didn't like YouTube it or anything like that. And um, I found it to be an amazing spawn trap. Um, if you put yourself behind cover, the windows and things like that, you'll find yourself basically just having people funnel towards you like I said earlier and kills coming towards you now that being said moving into the next thing um, like I said covering yourself you want to use uh, shock charges are probably the best thing you can use them as like a stun grenade or you can use them as a claymore you can throw them down at the door if someone runs by then they get shocked and you know they're there and you also want to use a UAV which goes into the fact that you should use kill streaks that are one good for the game mode so things like UAV stealth choppers lightning strikes things like that they can take out areas quickly or cover areas um, areas being spawns I mean uh, flag points like like B if you wanted to place a stealth chopper over B it could cover B for you and but you also want to use kill streaks that you can get to I personally always use a UAV. I've never not used a UAV as a kill streak in Black Ops 2. And the reason for that is it's just so helpful. Ghost is at level 55, the max level. Most people aren't 55 ever. They're only 55 for a short time, then they prestige. I personally used my unlock token, my permanent unlock token on Ghost, so that I would have Ghost my entire next prestige because I feel it's an amazing perk for this game being that UAVs are used so often. So you'll you'll be able to see a lot of people quickly and then I personally like the lightning strike and either something like the stealth chopper or the hellstorm missile because they are both rather easy to get. If you use the hellstorm missile lightning strike combination it's really easy because they are only about like I think 50 or 100 points away so chances are you're going to get the next one um, with the other one. And then the other thing I wanted to say about this game really quick is patience is key. Like I said earlier it's a fast paced game. You want people to come to you. Don't don't go to them. Let them come to you. It's going to happen. People are constantly rushing in this game using SMGs like the PDW, things like that. 
if you stay in a good position and you just let them run to you, you're going to get so many kills. You're going to be surprised. You're going to see your score really increase. So thanks for watching, guys. I hope you enjoyed. It's a short video. I'd like to make it longer, but the second half of the game was boring. Uh, yeah, so as always, like the video. It really helps me out. Check out other gameplays that are on the screen and in the description, and I'll see you guys later.